In this video, I'll show you how to generate images like these using Google Colab uh, to access the stable diffusion model. There are a number of ways to create AI generated imagery. Uh, there are platforms such as Midjourney, um, ChatGPT has its own system. Uh, another way that you might want to work with uh, these text to image models is through a code notebook uh, such as Colab. Um, Colab, if you're not familiar with it, uh, allows you to run Python code in your browser. So uh, you can actually run things without downloading um, and installing things on your computer. Uh, it's, uh, there is a free version that you can use and I'll, I'm gonna show you how to set that up um, in this video. Right now I'm just at colab.research.google.com. That's where you can access um, Colab where you just search for Colab Google. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, is look at um, is actually Google Stable Diffusion, um, Google Colab. That's gonna give me this uh, Python notebook. Uh, you can see, um, and this is a really nice way to access uh, the model without, like I said, having to install anything on your computer, without requiring an in intensive or a powerful uh, GPU. Um, Getting it started is actually pretty straightforward. So this notebook um, kind of consists of different blocks, um, code blocks that you can see here. Uh, and what we're going to need to do is, is run these in, in order. Um, it's going to load the, the model and, and do some other setup. And if you keep scrolling down, this is where we'd want to start uh, making changes so that we can generate the imagery that we want. By default, it's set to a photograph of an astronaut riding a horse, and you can see what that looks like here. Um, and uh, these are some variations where I think they ch maybe change the seed of that to get a different image. Um, and you know, we can go in and uh, click in and make any changes here. So here you you can. Uh, run a block of code that will generate three images based on of a prompt up here and then you have a grid uh, Down below and you can also change the sizes here uh, So this video is just meant to be a quick intro into how you might start this process uh, I'm gonna scroll back up to the top the very first thing I'm gonna do is actually connect to a new runtime or connect your GPU. So we're gonna access a GPU in the cloud. Uh, like I said, we don't need a, a powerful GPU on our computer, so you could run this on a really slow um, computer, actually. It's all browser-based. Uh, so it tells you that you're connected and you can see the connection information here. Uh, and then the next thing I'll do is, since this is the first time I'm running it, um, I need to run all the setup code. Later on, if I'm gonna you know, generate an image again, I might need to just run this, uh, the block that I want by pressing play, but uh, what I'll do right now is just go to run time and run all. Um, you'll get this notebook, or you'll get this warning that says it's, this is a notebook that was not authored by Google, but uh, this is uh, created, uh, this is a stable diffusion notebook that's widely available and it's you know, uh, pretty safe, pretty legit. So uh, what it's going to do is go down um, block by block and run this code. It's going to take a while to load all this stuff in the beginning. Um, and actually, what I probably want to do before I move too far forward is you know, maybe go in and change what, what this is. Um, maybe I'll say of a monkey um, swinging from a tree. And you can see it's it's starting to process this, um, yeah. And so, we'll um, I won't sit here and, and let this run, but you know it's going to take some time. And then, like I said, it's going to run block by block. And if we want to redo something, change the um, output, uh, the prompt, we can do that right in here. And we can run it again by pressing play. So it started to generate the image, um, and actually, even though I, I think I put this in a little bit too late, I think I should have done uh, changed this before I started um, the process of running this. But you can see uh, generated a new image here, uh, and what I can do is, you know, I can run each of these blocks or cells, I think is what they're officially called. Uh, so I'm, 
I entered that text in here, and let me just run this again. And I think now this prompt, uh, this text-based prompt, should generate an image that more closely resembles this. And you know, because I've already loaded this stuff in the top, I don't need to do it again. So it should uh, be a little faster this time. Um, and you know, as that's that's generating, I'll just say, you know, this is a really nice uh, notebook setup. It's um, it has uh, all the cells that you need, all the code that's it's already here. It also has a pretty good explanation of different parts of it and links to um, you know the different uh, resources and. Uh, this is this was generated because I didn't change that prompt, like I said. And you know, if if you need to change certain things, you can go into here and change that as well. So again, the prompt here that's guiding this, but I should probably go ahead and change that. And you can see after some time, uh, it generated this image, a photograph of a monkey swinging from a tree, um, and. Again, like I said, if I want to run these blocks again, I can just press play or these cells again. Um, this one looks like it's going a little bit faster. Um, and the point of this video is just to give you an intro into how to um, what Google Colab is, how you can access uh, a, the stable diffusion model like this, um, and you can see some other examples. Um, I, I haven't changed these, but I wanted to just change something like this. I, I changed the prompt here, a photograph of a dolphin flipping in the ocean. And again, <clears throat> because we've already loaded the setup or done the setup up here, all we need to do is go in and um, change the prompt and, and press play again. And if you want to save these, you can save the image as right click and save it as. Um, and so you can, you can have these images uh, saved and you can share them um, as you'd like. So here's just that final um, grid three uh, three images, hopefully. Yeah, and you can see uh, that's close to this. You know, obviously there's still some imperfections and things like that. Uh, but this is, again, just an intro into um, how you can run the stable diffusion model um, on your browser using Google Colab. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to do some more videos showing uh, my process using this. Um, one other thing to note is, you know, you you have limited access or um, availability um, with these GPUs uh, on a free version. So if you are going to be doing things like video or uh, doing a lot of images, you might want to upgrade um, your your plan. Um, so that's just something to consider uh, for the future. I hope you found this helpful. If you're working. Uh, with Google Colab. Um, let me know if you have any other tricks uh, or show me what you're working on. I'd love to see it.